Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to be finishing off the outside environment for our game but well, we're not going to be finishing it off but we're going to be adding a little bit of detail to it so what I mean by that is we're essentially going to be adding in some of the decorative meshes things like trees rocks grass and stuff like that and we're going to be using the foliage editor to very quickly paint these in um, so that we can have a bit you know just to make it a little bit more efficient so we can just get a big brush and just paint in the trees rather than placing them one by one because there is going to be lots and lots of trees in the environment that we've got planned and it's going to be the same for the grass because we don't want to have to put in each individual clump of grass we can just use the foliage tool to define the density of the grass and then just paint it in and it will look absolutely great so if you take a look at the picture you can see we have a very nicely filled environment here inside of Unreal Engine 4 and that's exactly what we're going for so we just need to add in these trees and the rocks and the stuff like that just to fill it in because at the moment our environment looks very empty very dull and there's not that much to it so one thing I do want to mention before we do actually start the tutorial is that we're not actually going to be making the trees and the rocks ourselves. Instead, we're just going to get some of the sample content to start with and we're going to use that for our project. So having said that, if you guys do want the sample content, um, it's made by Epic Games and it's really easy to get hold of. So the way you're going to get access to that is just go to the Learn tab and from here you just need to scroll down find the open world demo collection and it's going to give us access to all of the rocks all of the trees and that kind of stuff that they used for this open world demo now in terms of licensing i'm pretty sure you can use some of it um obviously if you don't go to you know obsessive um, it's definitely worth checking the licensing agreements and that kind of stuff though but in terms of the tutorial use it's definitely worth checking it out and that is completely fine so just go ahead and download it, the download button should be here when you select it. Once it has been downloaded just press add to project, select survival horror game and it will all be moved straight over to your content browser. Now make sure that you don't actually have the engine part or the engine editor open when you do this, it can mess things up a little bit. But anyway without further ado let's go ahead and use these assets because there's some really nice pieces in there and I just want to chuck it into the environment and just fill it up a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do that. So. I'm going to go ahead and open up the foliage editor because this is pretty much going to be our painting tool for today. The foliage editor is just pretty much going to allow me to paint on the assets, define the height, define the density and a bunch of other settings. So first things first, I've got it open, we need to drop some foliage in there and that basically is just our way of defining which foliage we want to paint into the scene. So we need to find some foliage if you go into the kite demo in your content browser or wherever you may have some assets for this kind of stuff. Open it up, kite demo, I'm going to open up environment and I'm going to add some trees in for now. And the first tree I'm going to add in is just a normal pine tree. And I'm just going to drag and drop it in there. Sometimes it does take a couple of minutes just to load in. But now that we've done this, we're actually ready to start painting. And painting is very simple. All we need to do is just click and just paint it in just like that. And you can see we're very quickly painting in our forest. It looks very foresty, I guess, very fill filled, which is kind of the look that we're going for. But there is a few issues. The first one is that it's too dense. We don't want that many that many trees. And I also feel like the trees are a little bit too high and unproportionate to the player height. So I'm going to be showing you how to adjust that. And I'm also going to quickly press play just to see how awesome these trees look. Uh, because they do look really nice and I want you guys to understand just how powerful the Unreal Engine 4 is and you know what it can do. So I'm going to go ahead and run over here to my trees just so we can see it. Now they would look a little bit better if I built the lighting but it's making it look dark and there's lots of detail in these trees. We can walk straight through these but we're going to be setting up collision later on but for now these trees look awesome. So let's get rid of these and start over again. So we're going to define the height and the density. So whoops I almost saved it so I'm gonna select the foliage again and we're gonna do two things the first thing is we're gonna turn down the density and this is just gonna make the trees a little bit more sparse so we don't have too many of them in this in like a small area so I'm gonna change this down to something like 35 and I can start painting again 
and this still looks like there's too many trees it does look nice but I'm gonna adjust that a little bit more and I'm gonna change that down to 30 now because I don't want to have to paint too much I'm gonna change the brush size up and I can do that up here so brush size I'm just gonna go ahead and chuck that up and just start painting again there you are. I definitely say that this density of trees is definitely looking a bit more realistic. So we're just going to adjust this to something like 10 now. And the next thing that we're going to work with is going to be the height. So I'm going to go down, I'm going to select this, and I'm just going to grab the height of this. So scale, not the height down there, don't touch that, just touch the scale for now. And we don't want it to be 1 by default, it's a little bit too tall. So we're going to change the maximum value to something like 0.7. And we're going to change the minimum value to something like 0.4. Now, if you vary the height of these, the trees are going to come out in different sizes and it's going to make it look a little bit more, more realistic. Um, so that's definitely something that you may want to do. So you can also adjust like the uh, rotation and stuff like that. But for now, these trees are looking pretty awesome. So I'm just going to proceed to paint in a couple of these. So boom, 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 just going to populate the little forest area of mine. I'm going to change this to the unlit mode just so I can paint them in, just so I can see where I'm painting and that kind of stuff. So it's going to keep painting them in. I might need to turn down my brush size here so I can be a little bit more precise. There you are. And I'm going to go and add some trees on the other side as well. But hopefully you guys can actually see right now just how, you know, easy the foliage editor makes this kind of stuff because we can simply just use a paintbrush and paint in trees uh, and stuff like that. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit more, the brush size, and we're going to be a bit more precise. So we're going to start, you know, placing these, you know, up the cliffs and that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to go and add these in here. Da, 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 da. Now, one thing I do want to mention to you guys is that if you do add in lots and lots of trees, it is going to make a big hit on the performance. So don't add too many um, or whatever assets you use, just make sure they're, you know, properly optimized so that, you know, if you, someone does have a bad computer or a slow computer, uh, you know, they're still going to be able to run your game and it's still going to be fluid. So I'm going to add a couple more up here. Bang, bang, okay. I probably added in a little too many, but you know, you can adjust this whenever you want. But for now, this is looking good. I'm gonna add in one more here, one more here. And I'm gonna go ahead and change this to the lit mode. And it is looking good. It's definitely looking a bit more full than it was before. So, you know, trees aren't the only type of environmental asset that you're going to have. You may also have grass. So the next thing that we're going to add into our scene is going to be some, you know, some grass. I'm going to add in a couple more trees here. One there. Just trying to fill it up a little bit more, I guess, at the moment. Because it does still look a bit empty to me. Let's add another tree there. Another tree there. Not there. Another tree there. That's looking good. All good in the hood. So I think that's just going to have to do for now. That is looking good to me. And let's go ahead and, and get some grass. So we've got to find it in the content browser. That's pretty simple. Just go to kite demo again, environments, and we're going to go to foliage. And let's see if we can find some grass. There we go. Field grass. And we've got the mesh, uh, the mesh there. And once again, all we've got to do is just click it and just drop it in straight like that. Now, if you don't want to paint trees this time, and you only want to paint the grass, make sure the trees is deselected, unselected, and then we can just pretty much start painting the grass. <coughs> so, let's get into this. So I'm just going to start painting the grass, and you can see it's a bit loose at the moment, the grass is, and it's a bit too small. It's not too realistic. So once again, we're just going to have to play around with the settings. We're going to change the scale of the grass. So we're going to change the max size to something like 5 and change the minimum to something like 3. So now when we go and print, uh, paint this in here, it looks really nice. And it's going to look even better when we actually start to... Was it walk through it? So if I come over here to my grass, you know, this is starting to look really realistic and really, really nice. So all we got to do now is pretty much just keep on painting this or maybe even increase the size of the grass a bit more and then turn down the density as not to hit the uh, performance too much. So maybe change this down to something like 90. 
minimum we're going to change this to four and we're just going to pretty much get painting so let's go ahead and do that just paint in the grass just like this now I'm going to be ending off the video very soon but what I want you guys to do is pretty much just go ahead and add in a bunch of rocks and stuff like that you know while I'm gone I know you guys can do it all you got to do is just pretty much add in the the rock mesh and then just paint it wherever you think it's appropriate really um, and then it should you know look really really great so just add in a bit more grass uh, I'm gonna turn down my brush size as well because we don't want to add too much of it so he's gonna chuck in a bit there make sure it doesn't overhang too much as well into the you know the sort of mud path that we have cool and um, we're just gonna keep up we're just going to keep on painting it in just like this very nice but our environment is starting to look really good now there's loads of different kind of assets that you can put into here you could put things like rocks in you could put things like bushes in um, you know just play around with it do whatever you like but for now our environment is looking very very slick I must say just go over all of the grassy areas just cover it with grass let your heart out now like I said don't add too much as it will put a bit of a hit on the performance um, once you build the lighting it will be a little bit better so just cover it all up but for now if we go over here we zoom out I'm just gonna make sure I have a nice little shot here with plenty of grass in and there we are so plenty of grass chuck it in there this is looking really really nice so we've got a nice little environment here over the rocks over here as well there we are so this is pretty much everything that i wanted to go over with you guys in this tutorial hopefully you guys should have a good understanding of how you can actually put foliage assets in there and adjust some of the settings to make it more realistic and more efficient in terms of how you can paint it so one last thing that i do want to mention before we do go is that I want you guys to try and support the channel as much as you can. I'm trying to do a big support, a big push on, you know, building a community with you guys because you guys are great and I really want other people to find this page and, you know, just pretty much share the knowledge, share the love. So if you could just go ahead and make sure you comment on the video, make sure you share it, share it on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and we also have a Patreon page as well if you guys want to keep these videos going. Even if you can't donate to the channel yourself, you can always just share the page that is the best thing you guys can do so thanks for being awesome and i will see you in the next video goodbye